Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am, at, blah, blah. here I am back in my classic Happy Planner with the Happy Planner Daily Productivity Pages. And I have four to decorate this week. So what I was thinking of doing is for two of the spreads, I would be using florals, these new, I guess the ones that you could color from the latest pressed florals box, but then I'll be incorporating some journaling doodles or journaling as well. And then in two other spreads, I will be using the Disney Happy Planner. And I was going to use goals, but you know what? I'm going to do two spreads with the Disney uh, Happy Planner sticker book. All right, let's get started. So for this particular spread, I chose these florals and I'm going to color them in with my Sharpie. Uh, what are these Sharpies? <laughs> my Sharpie S-Note uh, markers, and then I'll also be doing some coloring of stickers in these two books. So I'm actually gonna speed through the coloring, and then once I'm done the coloring, then I'll place the stickers down. So far I am loving this color combination. It wasn't exactly you know, what I had envisioned in the first place, but adding that purple in there I think has been, or was a very good choice. Now I'm going to white this out and place one of the big ones, the blue. I'm almost more nervous with stickers that I've colored. I don't know why. <laughs> and purple. Pretty. And then I'm going to place blue where it says reminders. And I'm going to white that out, even though I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. Then one over priorities and one over today. So let's do a small purple for, yeah, let's just do it like this. Okay, and then because there's already florals there, I obviously don't want to overload it. And I don't want to rip it either. This one feels like such a fragile floral. No, it was a tough one to put down actually. Go. And I'm just going to put a teeny blue one next to it. Then this big blue one, like I want to. I've colored all of them, so I feel like I have to use all of them. Although, I mean, I could always use these in a separate spread. Now, let's go into journaling doodles here because there's probably a box that I could color in that would work really well. Uh, wow, I've used a lot of this already. So it doesn't look like there's a box. <laughs> go figure. Although there's like fall, watch fireworks, pumpkin patch. That's not really what I want. I wish there was some, I could do the count your blessings, although that's not big enough to go anywhere. Thankful, grateful. Mm. These are cute and I feel I could go well here. So let's do a couple. You just kind of cover that up. And actually, I don't mind there being actually not that one. I want one that's in the middle. It's right. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of post it. So I'm going to color these. 
but then also kind of color. Just the bottom and the side outline of the paper. And then do green and There you go, and then the last one will be purple. And just like so. Ooh. That's actually really cute. Then let's go back to these. Maybe I can add in something in the corner. And I, I feel like I don't even need to add labels for where things are, that it's just gonna work out. Uh, actually, yeah, I don't mind overloading the florals here in the middle. Why not? Uh, I might leave those two though. Mm, we'll see. Mm. if I, it just feels empty like this, you know? Uh, 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 uh. You know what, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. All right, so that is the first spread. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be um, using Sharpies as well as these new stickers from the Happy Planner. So that is the first plan with me. So for the next plan with me, I thought I would go with these florals and then I would use these colors for the Sharpie S notes. All right, let's get started. got from the last uh oh from the last spread and this spread that i am not the most patient colorer <laughs> uh per se because i mean coloring is never i like coloring to an extent when i was a preschool teacher coloring was my favorite thing but that's because our coloring sheets were like made for four-year-olds you know so <laughs> uh, that tells you a lot about me um but uh, coloring now, like especially something this big and detailed, and I mean, even this isn't really that detailed, is not for me. I lose patience very, very quickly, which is why it's not all filled in. But I actually like that look. I like that look, so don't get mad. Oh, I thought I did more pink than that. Oh well. So I'm gonna put this big yellow one down here at the bottom and although that might, do I cut it? Oh, I could cut it. I never thought to cut it. So I'll put one here. It's like, why couldn't I cut it? And they're floral stickers. And then, I almost feel like it's a lot of yellow but it's okay that's going there and i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the journaling sticker book see if i can find a big box to go in here or okay perfect oh this will work this will do nicely Actually, just placing it like this. And then I'll color it in with actually some more pink because I feel like that's the color that is missing. And what I'm going to also do, and this may take a little bit of time, is color in a few of these for. Wow, I am. Terrible at staying in the lines. I'm 
color in a few of these for my meetings for the day. Yeah, so there's going to be a few of those. Where are my tweezers? I just had them. Like as I plan, my office is normally quite a big mess. So let's put these down. I don't know if this will be even enough for the schedule that I've got that day. But I also might do a separate one for uh, interviews that I have to do that day. So let's just put down these six for now and then we'll go from there. Then I'm going to add a yellow to here to kind of balance that out. Then yellow to cover the today and pink to cover up the date and priorities, which I don't mind doing because I know what date it, I know what the date is. And then use up these little bits. Actually, I'm glad I only colored in half because it would have been way too much to try and do all of them. All right, I love that. I think that's actually super, I know you guys don't like it when we always say super cute, but it is, I think, really cute. All right, let's move on to the next. So I haven't used the Mickey and Minnie stickers in a while, so I thought, why not use them today? And I'm thinking, what theme would I like to go with? And I actually really like the blue for Mickey. So why don't we do that? Um, let's use this big one. Hmm, I feel like with Mickey, a big sticker up here would be the best thing to do. And yes, it's peeking out from the top, but I actually don't mind. Now I want a big Mickey kind of decal. Let's put that here. And I'm going to put the priorities up here for Mickey and cover up this whole, say this whole space, but it's really not going to cover it, is it? It's going to only cover up some. So maybe if I... That could work. So if I put this down like this, as straight as I can, and then put this down like this, it could cover up that whole area. And actually, that looks really cute. So then, hmm, I'm gonna put this here with, this. We've got two boxes. For Mickey here. And then I'm going to put this Mickey here. That's adorable. I almost feel like I should have put, I don't know, can I take them off? If I can, that'll be a miracle. Let's do this slowly. Oh, looks like it might. Oh, yes. Okay. And put this here. And then... What else? On this page, that's Minnie. That'll be the next spread. Um, with Mickey, it's actually, I feel like it's really easy and I don't want to add too 
too much more, although I feel like a little montage of Mickey's down at the bottom would be cute. That is cute. I don't want to add too much more to it. It's amazing how something like this can come together so quickly and it's so simple. All right, so let's move on to the last plan with me, which will be using the same sticker book. So I am using this time mini. So it's probably gonna look very similar to what I just did because I love the pink in here and you can tell I've used a lot of it already. So I'm going to put this mini up here. And actually what I like about the pink in here is it matches with the pink that's already in here. So I don't have to worry too much about the colors clashing. And then here, I wonder if there is just a big circle sticker that I haven't used yet. I feel like I've used a lot of mini I have. A lot of pink. Okay. Um, let's make this out. I wish there was a circle sticker that fit in here, but unfortunately there is not. I'm going to put the you can here. Leave self-care as it is. Then, oh, there was a page with bigger, these boxes here, so I can make this work. Put down today is magic. And then put this down. Here. Then I'll put a few mini decals and then I think I will be all done. So just a couple more stickers and then I will be all done. I actually like her sitting there. And then a um I feel like she would be very cute there. I can hear my puppy coming. And one more here. And maybe just a couple more cute ones. Just a couple more little ones. And then I think that'll be all for that. All right, that is it. Actually, that's super Super. All right, guys, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. So there's the two spreads using the stickers from the new Press Florals box and by coloring them in myself. And then there's two spreads using the Disney um, mini Happy Planner stickers. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.